Something that we're going to have the pleasure and the uh, privilege of is our wonderful principal, Dr. Bill, is going to share with us some of her hopes and expectations today so we can have a little bit more guidance about what is it that we need to be able to do to be a wonderful contributing element in the school that you are so proud of to be part of. Um, so that's one thing. The other thing is we just had small groups and I'm wondering if which one of you would be willing from each group to say what went on in your group? What did you learn? What did you discover? What was, uh, how did you feel about being part of that small group? How was that experience in your mind? Um, how that would make you a better presenter, a better community builder, a better um, person who can re reconcile and listen and bring people together in harmony and unity. That's what, that would be wonderful to hear. So uh, let's see who can give us some idea about what went on, what did you learn, what worked, what didn't work. Any, anyone? Ariel, you want to go? Me? <clears throat> So you can, you can actually start, use the stars So what happened, what did you think, how you felt, what did you want, and the actions from just that experience. Okay. Okay, so... Um, and be, be loud enough because like me, because then the camera would not hear you. Okay. Use your audience, <laughs> I mean your theater voice, like you're in a big theater. So um, in our group, we heard a lot of stories, well not a lot, but like a couple of stories. Like uh, Marco and Leo were in my group, and Leo was talking about his confirmation on Saturday. I was also there, so I was part of that. Congratulations! That's the story. Thank you. <laughs> and, uh, Marco told a really touching story about um, a man who, like, his son was trapped in his school building because of an earthquake that had occurred, and his um, this like father, um, like, dug and dug and dug for his um, child trying to get him out and it was really touching because in the end like he was able to get his um, child out and he like the child was okay and so was his entire class so that was very touching also so I think um, so I guess uh, your after thought hearing the stories your thought was I think that um, it helps us to become better presenters because we were able to like you know start off with a small presentation and I think that will help us like lead into something else. I also think that it was good because we were able to give each other criticism, which can help us with our presenting skills. Mm -hmm. um, I feel that... I felt. I felt that with this experience, we will become better presenters. Okay, wait, hold on. Um, if you put that in front of the felt, it becomes a thought. But I felt happy, sad, um, excited, um, gratified, that would remain a feeling. An emotion, basically. Yeah, exactly. So go ahead. So I felt very grateful that we were able to hear like such touching stories and were able to um, ex like, experience presenting. Perfect. Great. And um, my intention um, during this process was to give my best so that way we can become better presenters. Okay. And so my action was that I did try to give my best. <laughs> to distinguish between thought and, and feeling. And once you put that in front of it, almost always takes you to a thought. But I felt encouraged, I felt uplifted, I felt sad, I felt happy, I felt excited. When you stay just with felt, then you go right to the feeling, which is very important. But thanks for taking the cue, that was great, fast. Okay, so who else from another group would like to share something? This, is, this gives Dr. Bill a chance also to kind of look into inside of this fish wall where we are, because she isn't, you know, she's not here, she's so busy. So who else would like to share what happened in their group? This is a chance to take a chance and risk and get out of your comfort zone, so we know that. This is not comfortable, obviously. So who wants to be uncomfortable? <laughs> Just volunteer yourself. Don't volunteer somebody else because then that's not volunteering. I guess I can't that's what I. So you look at yourself, and if you want to be daring, just come on. Alhamdulillah. 
Alejandra looks like she's thinking. No, I'm not. No, you're not thinking. <laughs> you, you're thinking, but you're not thinking about coming. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay for us. Absolutely. Well, someone from our group? Yeah, absolutely, because we're learning all of us. Oh, like for me? Too. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, I was gonna, I was asking if I can volunteer someone who was in my group. Well, student. ask them if they're okay. With that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, Persians are like that. We don't like to, we don't like to be volunteering, but we love somebody else to volunteer us. I don't know about the culture. I don't know why it's like that, but that's how it is. Okay, so um, in our groups, we each took a turn telling the same story, and like each time, we try to make it better. So like the first person went and then the second person would give like the detail that the first person forgot. So we could like remember it more and like present it better. So my thoughts were that this was actually kind of useful because the more like people hear it, like the more you kind of remember it and everyone tells it in their own way so it makes it easier for you to remember like different details. Um, I felt happy that I remembered so much of one story, um, and then my intention is to tell more people so that I can keep remembering, and, and then I'll tell more people. So. Wow. Okay, so there are not that many of us, so you better jump out. <laughs> yeah, there's only two more groups in there. Yeah, so. All the looks are going this direction, so somebody from here needs to jump out. That's true, because the two were from that side, so now it's exactly. So, so who's who's that? Who's that person who takes? But me and Leo are out of it since our group already presented. So. Okay. Yeah. Take someone whose group, Valerie, has someone from your group gone? No. Who is in your group? Um, we went over each other's name. Shan. Shafia. 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 Okay, Shafia, come on. <laughs> I'll be helping you. I'm standing here holding, kind of supporting you. You can do it. Just bring your theater voice out so everything hears it to the next mountain. So in our group, um, we discussed like different stories. I remember Valerie telling us one, and then she asked us a question about how the Empowerment Club actually helps us with school. And I said it's definitely helped me get out of my comfort zone and talk, like presenting in class. And I'm kind of like nervous when I talk to people. Right now. <laughs> We're holding you. It's okay. <laughs> So that, that was helpful. So as, as that was going on, as um, Valerie was talking, you said that you were thinking about, this is helpful to me. That was your thought. And then as you were mm, observing that or experiencing that or thinking that, the whole experience, you recognized any feelings going on? I felt good. You felt good. Any other words other than good? Um, not nervous. Not nervous? Any, anything else? Comfortable? Yeah, comfortable. Okay. Okay. Encouraged, empowered. Encouraged. Okay. And then, what would be some one one intention that you would have as a result of this experience that you were thinking about? Continuing to talk to people in larger groups, mm -hmm. like past presentations. Okay. Having strangers. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. That is that is mighty um, attempt. That's a big step. Congratulations. Question, not that she's feeling so brave, you can ask questions. <laughs> okay, so great job. Thanks for taking the chance. So, anybody on this side? We have one group left. Yeah. Who's group? My group. Eddie? Oh, I want to ask uh, Rogelio. Rogelio, stop. Well, my group, um, everybody shared a story. Uh, after the story, uh, we would 
give feedback so they could improve and to like notice the good things that like the good part of the story. We also shared like the main we highlighted the main parts of the story to like share the point of the story. Mm -hmm. So do you remember the story? Yes, we uh, we also have uh, when somebody was presenting and they didn't know the some details. We would elaborate. And, like, share. So how how did it feel to share a story in a collective way and everybody helping and coming in and, and supporting? Well, since the group was small, I found it kind of comfortable, but it was awesome. I felt awesome about this. Oh, okay. So so you were thinking this is what you were thought. Step, yeah. step on this one. So you were thinking. This is this is a small group, so it's much more yeah, comfortable more than being in a huge group and everybody looking at you. And but at the same time, you were feeling what? I was feeling kind of nervous. You were feeling kind of nervous. Yeah. Um, yeah. How nervous were you feeling from one to ten? Uh, about six. About oh, six. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty nervous. So now let me ask you this: um, I think if it was before we started the group here together. I've, if it had been just the first session we were here, what would be from 1 to, to 10? <laughs> so there's some degree of decreasing yeah. nervousness, which is good. Okay. So what would be your intention as we are going on from this whole program or from our experience? What is What do you want? My intention is to like, try not to get more nervous and try to like, project my voice. Okay, wonderful. And then any actions in that direction that you've already taken? Uh, practice uh, sharing stories more. Have you shared story with anybody yet so far? Uh, yeah. Not yet. So that's going to be on your plate. Okay, we're all going to keep him in mind. Yeah, fantastic. You guys are just absolutely delight and such an encouragement. Okay, so at this point, uh, we would love to give it to you so you tell us what you're thinking. listening <laughs> to many students sharing and my thought was how impressed I am uh, at you know how willing you are to take a risk because it's scary it's scary you know I, I remember um, as a teacher it was always easier to talk in front of a group of students because we see each other every day but then when I had to start talking in front of my colleagues and my peers and parents and other teachers, it was really scary. I felt, um, I felt really scared a lot. But the good thing about it is that, um, you know, you're learning this skill in a very safe and structured environment where you're getting a lot of supportive feedback. And something that helped me when I was going through the same process that you're going through at a, you're you're very lucky you're going through this at a much younger age, so you know. But by the time you you get to your your careers, this is something that you won't even have to to consider, because you'll have already had so much practice. But something that helped me was being able to find a really good colleague friend that was going to give me, you know, that uh, critical feedback. You know, it's not always going to be positive. You know, sometimes, you know, my face, I make, I tend to make a lot of facial expressions. And so sometimes, um, you know, even if I don't mean to, I look mad, you know, because I'm thinking about something. And so, <laughs> but that's, that's something that, you know, a colleague of mine helped me to say, hey, you need to smile more because people think that you're mad or you're angry or upset. So I've always felt really appreciative to have people that I could trust in that way. Um, and so my intention, and for all of you, is that you continue having opportunities to go out and speak because each of you has, and I've shared this, but each of you has a brilliant mind with many brilliant ideas. And you know, um, there's so much for you to say, and there's so much for you to give and share to this world that you have to be effective in communicating. And so I will continue as my action, continue supporting, you know, empowerment and and, and bringing in you know different adults and different people where you could practice, you know, where you could practice. And so 
as I transition, one of the ways, the many ways you can practice, and I put, while you were telling me, I was like feverishly looking for my notes here. We have a few dates coming up. Um, first of all, April 30th is coming up, not this Saturday, but next Saturday. It's a barbecue. Um, I invite all of our teachers, our families, and our students because it's important that you get to know you know, not just each other, but your teachers and their families, me and my family, you get to know us as individuals. Because everyone has a job here. Everyone has a role to play. No one person's job is more important than the other. We're all here because of each of you. So I want you to get to know me, I want to get to know you as an individual. Not just as a student, because you're not only a student, you're many different facets. So if you can bring your appetite, bring a dish to share, bring your family, that would be awesome. So again, one of the many things we're learning from this is a very adult responsibility of juggling multiple commitments. And so I trust that you're still getting all your presentations ready. But this is a perfect place that you're practicing how to speak to strangers. Because there are going to be a lot of strangers that you don't see that work behind the scenes to bring you opportunities to the school. And I want them to see you because all of the resources and support and opportunities that they share and their talents that they share and the time that they give, I want them to see where it's going. I want them to see you and hear from you. And then the last thing is May 24th. It's our eighth grade promotion induction. We started doing it a little bit differently since last year, because last year is the first year we started doing the interviews. We actually do a white coat like they do in the uh, med schools, and a little prayer, and um, it's beautiful. It's really beautiful for our seniors and for our eighth graders. But I invite, you know, empowerment to sing a song. Uh, again, a prayer is just a good intentions. It doesn't have to be based on any one religion. And because we have many faiths represented here, um, it's a non-denominational one, just praying for um, blessings and, and you know just sharing good intentions for the outgoing seniors and the incoming freshmen that have decided to commit to this way of life, so to speak. Because this is a harder course than just going to any other high school. You're taking a lot of extra science class on top of your internship, on top of your research projects every year. It's a huge commitment. So being able to articulate what you're thinking, what you're feeling, what your intentions, what your purpose and objectives are for your research and your service, it's important. It's really important. But I really, again, want to commend you. I did speak with Mrs. Davis. She does have peer mediation as one of the options for next year. This was the goal for that class. You know, your ability to effectively communicate will be one of the skills that you're going to help a younger peer who's not as effectively communicating to help draw out what they're feeling and help resolve conflict, yeah. But I'm really, really proud of what I'm, you know, what I'm observing as your growth. I'm extremely appreciative to the team because it takes a lot of planning. It takes a tremendous amount of planning um, to, to facilitate workshops on a weekly basis for your individual growth. They're not just saying, okay, this is a pre-packaged, week one we're going to do this, week two, week three, we're just going to keep going on our plan. They are making this a very specific program for each of you, your strengths and your developmental needs. And so the fact that they're taking time, hours of planning to make sure it's responsive for you. This class would look totally different if there was a different class in here. It's not a pre-packaged thing. They really, you know, spend a lot of time. So. All right, guys. It is a pr privilege for us. <laughs> they all are absolutely, um, remind me of that story, of Michelangelo uh, chopping and, and ha right. hacking at that big boulder. And somebody came and said, what are you doing? He said, there's an angel in here. I'm trying to get it out. Right. Uh, we see in each one of them an, an angel in that person. And we like to take, get it out. So, and we are seeing, seeing this. It's coming out. <laughs> so it's, it's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> yes, definitely. Yes, we will absolutely do that. May you become as the ways of 
one sea, stars of the same heaven, fruits adorning the same tree, roses of one garden, in order that through you the oneness of humanity may establish its temple in the world. wonderful day um, in my opinion I really enjoyed my small group um, and we did something a little different which was Marco's idea we had each person tell a story from their lives um, and like share it with us so or like some so they they were all Catholic so they all chose like stories related to their churches and two of them just got confirmed so they told stories about that and then Marco told a story about um, something his like pastor had said um, during a service which is really great. And they all sort of like really opened up and they're like really excited to tell me about Catholicism. Um, and it just felt like a really point of like unity for us. And then Ariel shared and she did an amazing job. It made me like so happy to hear her share and really like felt like it came full circle and understanding like why what we're doing is meaningful. Wonderful. Yeah, it's awesome. Wonderful. Small groups are good. <laughs> Yeah, I like the small groups as well, but what really stood out to me was when um, we had one person from each group share their reflection about the process of sharing and um, their storytelling within the small groups. It was like really powerful to hear them and see how they're growing and learning, and it was just so amazing. And, and like just on top of that, to have Dr. Beal here to witness that as well was like really awesome. In my group, um, it was really nice to hear feedback from, or just to see how what we're doing here is resonating with them. Like one of the members said that um, the story of the hot dog wishes got him thinking about um, the wishes that he makes um, and how he wishes how like he could have things now. But the hot dog wishes story made him realize like, does this wish that I'm making, is it going to help me in the long run? Like, is it going to be like sustained? And then another one of the people in my group, she shared how like, and she shared it in the larger group too, how she's um, more developed in like getting out of her comfort zone. She's like t like becoming more talkative with strangers and being comfortable with that and being less nervous. And she said that in front of the group and I was so proud of her. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, um, for me, today I took a little bit of a leap and I just shared, I, well, not shared, I, um, oh man, words are failing me right now, okay. uh, but <laughs> basically I led the prayer group and, well, prayer group, <laughs> well, the prayer today yeah. and I think I did okay. <laughs> I know how I can do better, but I got, I think, a pretty good idea of it now. <laughs> you did a wonderful job and it was a... A courageous leap because you have been with us very short time okay. <laughs> and um, so taking that um, step to come out of your comfort zone you did a mar marvelous job yeah. and mm -hmm. of obviously it's gonna be becoming better and better like anything as we do it more mm -hmm. but um, I was extremely proud yeah. thank you <laughs> <laughs> yeah She's talking about in the, before our program, before the project period, we plan, and so in, in our planning, we pray, and she led that. And part of our planning is the uh, is, uh, uh, sharing uh, special um, prayers and wishes and fine-tuning our wishes and mm -hmm. our big rocks that needs to go in place as we learn together how we're going to be serving this wonderful uh, group of students here yeah yeah so there's a lot of exciting events coming up where um, i'm really excited about it because we'll have opportunities to meet with the students outside of the um, the group and the time that we have with them here and like dr beale said while she was here she also has those same hopes and goals that 
we all want to get to know each other and the students as more than just one role of a student, uh, but see them as a, as a whole, as a human being, and building those relationships. So, And I'll just add that we saw a lot of progress today. Um, you know, shine, uh, especially through Dr. Bill's like honest reflection. You know, she, she knows she knew the kids well before they started this program, and she was able to you know, like share with us an improvement and see how our work um, you know, is making a difference. It's it's starting to take mold, as you know, we always like to use that reference of we're carving the angels out of out of the big boulders. Um, what, what was Michelangelo? Michelangelo. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So it was really just you know encouraging. You know, I feel like we are doing good work here, and it's, it's a good motivation for us to keep doing. Yeah, I I thought um, today our visit to the office, uh, sharing uh, hugs and sharing um, jelly beans, jelly beans, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, mm, being told that our presence in this school brings so much joy and so much happiness where we go. And, uh, and their embrace and their joy of seeing us was, was really priceless. And then the, the fact that this wonderful principal, young principal, uh, feels so comfortable and so motivated and to come and sit uh, in the middle of the whole gathering and share in an equal level with the students how important this is, how we are putting this program together, custom making it for them based on their needs, what they present to us, and how much their feedback and their interaction means, and what kind of role we play in their development and growth, and then connecting it with next year, them being able to serve their school as peer mediators. It's just bringing it all together, and it's most, I find it to be most valuable and really most encouraging. It's very priceless. You guys all shine. <laughs> you shine. <laughs> yeah, okay, bye. All right, see you next time.